So the passage I got uh, was John 6, 37. And I've highlighted the verse here. All that my Father gives me will come to me. And the one who comes to me, I will most certainly not cast out. I love the extra explanation, which is I will never, and if you have any doubt, never reject anyone who follows me. As I thought about it, um, I didn't want to read the verses above and the one verse below. Um, and I thought, and he starts by talking about things that might be hard for the disciples to understand, which is the case because in the next, in the next verse, in verse 36, he says, but as I told you, you have seen me and still you do not believe. And what he's talking about is the fact that Jesus is the bread of life and the one who goes to him will never be hungry and those who believe in him will never be thirsty. They will be spiritually sustained for till the end. But even though they lived with him, they walked with him, they saw miraculous stuff um, on a very frequent basis, they still could not believe. And so it was fascinating for me that in verse 36 here, Jesus is talking about the fact that you guys have seen all this. You have seen me and still you don't believe. But in the next verse, he says that regardless of that, all that my father gives me will come to me. And the one who comes to me, I will most certainly not cast out. And I thought the 36 and 37, I thought were opposites. 36 is him acknowledging their lack of belief. And 37 is him assuring them the only thing that they need to do is to be absolutely confident. Because if the Father has given us to him, he, we will go to him. Probably even if we don't want to go to him. And the ones who go to him, which is the ones us, who the Father has given to him, we will never be cast out. So I felt that in 36, he's setting us up with acknowledgement of our lack of belief. And in 37, he's telling us that the only thing we need to do is to be absolutely confident in him. And so it was like, um, the, as, if, as if we know what's going to happen at the end. Um, I, I'm, I'm an Indian immigrant. Um, I used to play cricket a lot in India and even a little bit here. And so when India plays cricket, um, most of the time it's at very odd hours and it's not easy to watch the game. So I sometimes watch the highlights. My wife might correct me. I often watch the highlights. Uh, it's a one-hour highlights of a seven-hour game. But I watch the highlights when I know what happened. Um, and so even if India is having a tough game with some, some Pakistan or some other team, if, um, we might be having a bad start. We might have a tough part in the middle of the game. But I'm watching the highlights because I know that at the end it's going to work perfectly fine. We're going to win the game. We're going to come out on top. And no matter what happens in between, nothing is going to change that outcome. And I feel that's the kind of confidence that he is telling us to have in 37. That no matter what happens in between, we might, I mean, we're going to through the most stressful time in a whole century. We've lost, to, I think, 850,000 lives as of Jan 7. Um, in the U.S. alone, 60 million odd cases or something. I mean, I, I don't want to appear to take it lightly. Um, there hasn't been a time like this. We don't know what the future looks like. But he's saying no matter what happens, all that the Father has given to him will come to him. And all we need to do is to go to him because we will never be cast out and we will never be rejected. And I love the next line because it says this verse, which I think is like his, his autobiography, right? Right. Um, I've come down from heaven to do one thing, and that's not even the thing I want to do. Like, I want to do my will if I'm here on earth, but I'm going to set that aside to do his will. And I felt very challenged. Like, if we're absolutely confident, um, we, know the, we know the result of the game. We are, can confidently watch the highlights, no matter how much stress we're going through. And all we need to do is to believe, which again, I must acknowledge is very, very hard. Uh, it's not going to happen without him. If that's the case, then the more we believe, the more we're going to be like him. The more we're going to be like him, the more we're also going to do the will of him who sent our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But when I thought about how I even pray, if I do pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it's in heaven. I think in heaven, the Father's will is being done absolutely well. Nobody is standing in the way. All the angels are in complete compliance. But on earth, I say may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, but often I'm the guy who's standing in between his will be being done, and I, I'm the one who does not, it's not helpful in the case. I'm the one who's the hindrance more than the help. And so I, I feel that God's telling us, hey, be absolutely confident. You, you, can, you can look at the wardrobe and you don't know what's inside, but you step through it, and like in Narnia, you will see the other side of, of life that you've never seen before. But you have to step through it, even if you can't see it, you can only get to the other side if you have the faith 
and the the willingness and the confidence that when you leap, he's going to be there to catch you. And for those who do that, I feel that we can then get to a life where we will be able to do be Christ-like, and just as he set aside his will to do his Father's will, we will be able to do the same as co-inheritors. I mean, as co-inheritors um, of his inheritance. So I feel, I feel inspired and challenged at the same time. I feel assured that even though even though the disciples struggled to believe, it's understandable why I I struggle to believe sometimes in some things. But at the same time, he says all you need to have is confidence because we know the end game. So may I assure you that in this episode of Gently and Lowly, we that we can be just like him, gentle and lowly, but at the same time we can be absolutely confident. Not in the way that that contrasts in arrogance, because we're not arrogantly confident. We're assuredly confident in the fact that we know where this is going. We know the end game. And we have nothing to worry about finally where we're going to end up. So may the Lord bless you all.